So, I did not feel good today. My throat is really sore. I just feel a bit rubbish. And I am off to the shops to make a meal for my friends who are moving. Um, and <coughs> I'm going to Aldi because um, I don't have enough money left in my food budget to shop at Tesco because I went to Costco and spent about £100. Um, so I've only got about 40 quid left for the rest of the month, which is fine if I go to Aldi. But I haven't been to Aldi in so long and I haven't actually been to a shop to do a food shop in so long. Um, and one of the reasons we changed it is because I was just hated going to the shops, doing the food shop, bringing it all home, carrying it all up by myself, all of that. I just really hated it and it just, I hate it. So that's why we swapped to Tesco. Um, but I'm going to Aldi now. I've got my list. So, yes. Let's see how it goes. I'm hoping that because it's about half 11, about 20 past 11 on a Wednesday, it's not going to be busy. <coughs> it's not going to be busy. So I think we'll be okay, but we'll see. <laughs> because I've been outside and it's quite sunny but um that came to 21.35 which is pretty good like I'm pretty impressed with that um I forgot how cheap Audi was <laughs> um and so a lot of that um is the meal that I have got for our friends I'm gonna make now well when I get home I brought a little bit of um I brought a little bit of uh, veg and stuff for our food this week so yeah I think I'm gonna be able to make it with what's left of my budget which is so good So I'm going to share with you my vegetarian lasagna recipe. Now this is a recipe that I have kind of created myself um, and I absolutely love it. It's one of my faves. So I'm just peeling some carrots and parsnips. I've got five carrots there and then three parsnips. And then I'm just chopping them up and just placing them on a baking tray, um, which I've already put in the oven and have heated up for about 10 minutes on about 180 to 200 degrees. And then... I'm just chopping up a couple of leeks and putting them on the tray as well. And then a couple of courgettes and putting them on as well. And then I'm also chopping up some peppers. So these I'm going to do with quite bigger chunks because it's nice to have some chunks of peppers. Um, and then a red onion as well. And then I'm just um, putting on some tomatoes, some cherry tomatoes, giving it all a mix, putting some olive oil on it, some salt and some pepper and some thyme and rosemary. Give this a really, really good mix with your hands and then pop it in the oven for about 40 to 50 minutes, but really just until it's roasted. Now I'm just frying up some onion in here now, just one big, large white onion. <laughs> um, and then I've got two teaspoons of some 
garlic with some salt and some pepper giving that a stir and then i'm just going to swap that over to my other pan and leave that other one on the heat and just heat up some butter and then whilst that is melting i'm just going to add some oregano to my onions um, this gives it a really good taste and gets that flavor really like into the onion and garlic whilst it's frying um, which works really well so i've just added that oregano there giving it another mix my butter's now boiling so i'm just going to add my plain flour to make a roux and um, which is what this is called so it's literally just like it thickens it up once it's thickened just gradually add your milk um, and then leave that aside just to bubble and thicken and then i'm just going to add my passata to my onion mixture so i've just got two plain passata just going in there giving it a really good stir season with salt and pepper and then i'm just going to put in lots of fresh basil leaves now i love using fresh basil because it just gives the sauce such a fresh taste which i love um, but whilst i'm doing this obviously i'm keeping an eye on my sauce um, i've swapped out to a whisk because it gets really thick now um, so just popping in some cheese and some salt and then pepper and I'm also putting in a teaspoon of mustard powder so that gives it a really nice kick. I also like to taste it as I go along. Um, now I obviously have said that in this I'm actually ill so um, I am changing my spoon out every time. <laughs> um, and then I just put in some freshly ground nutmeg as well just to give it a bit more flavour. Um, I'm just trying this sauce. And now I'm going to just whiz it up and completely blitz it. Now, if you've got a food processor, that will be so good. I don't, so I'm having to do it in batches in my Nutribullet, <laughs> which is not the most convenient thing, um, which is why it takes so long. But um, just put it all back in once it's completely blitzed up and just leave it to continue cooking. And then meanwhile, I'm just stirring this veg up um, and just popping it back in the oven just to continue roasting. Once that is all done, you want to take your veg out and then just put it all into your sauce and mix it all up till it's completely covered and you've got like your nice roasted veg sauce. Then after that, you just want to assemble it. So I just put my um, tomato veggie sauce on the bottom with my lasagna sheets and then some of my white sauce. And then I just repeat that again. And then after I've done that, I like to top it up with some asparagus. So you can't really see that clearly, but what I've done is just chop the tips of the asparagus off, just laid it out on the top and then topped it off with cheese. And as I said, I'm making this for my friend. So I'm just gonna pop this in the oven now. Um, sorry, pop this in the fridge. Um, and then they can just cook it at about 200 degrees so for about an hour. currently just chilling, watching TV. The program I'm watching at the moment is called Chesapeake Shores. I'm on season three, episode two. It's very PG. I love it. There's nothing inappropriate. I'd happily let our children watch it if we had children. Like, it's really good. Like, no swearing, no sexual stuff. Just really wholesome. As Josh says, <laughs> he always asks me, how's your wholesome program? <laughs> it's very wholesome. It's very good. Um... So yeah, I'm just chilling and enjoying watching TV. I have had some cereal. Um, I don't know if my video is going to be out yet. It probably will be out the week after this. But Hannah, my sister-in-law and I, did a, um, a dairy-free branded versus unbranded video. If it is out, I will uh, tag it in the top screen now. I don't know if it will be though. So if it is, I will tag it. If not, stay tuned. Um, but we've got loads of stuff left, so <coughs> I'm eating um, some of that. Well, I've eaten some of that. Um, and I'm just chilling, waiting for our friends to let us know uh, when I can drop their food over for tonight. Um, the lasagna smells amazing and looks amazing. And I'm very jealous that I'm not eating it because it's one of my favourite meals, this lasagna. It is so... I'm so also just a teeny bit addicted to cars. 
um, I've got this pack of cards and I have learned how to shuffle um, and I'm getting really good at it and because of that I'm able to play games more because I'm actually able to shuffle the cards so I'm a bit of a fan of solitaire at the moment. This is uh, my current setup about to start another game so very exciting. Hello so um, the last time I saw you I think was when I was on the sofa watching TV I look a little bit more worse for wear now <laughs> um, we have been helping our friends move so we had dinner and then went to theirs and have been like cleaning and moving stuff and I haven't done much lifting because my back but I've been cleaning and obviously I bought them dinner um, and we ended up everyone eating dinner at the same time um, and they all ate my food which there's a lot of people there that I didn't know so it's quite daunting to like have made a meal for your really close friends and then suddenly like loads of people that you've never met are eating it <laughs> I was like I hope it's good but it worked out really well I was really pleased with it um and we have just got home it's about it's quarter past 10 so I'm just having a little bit of a dairy-free cookie which is amazing and then I'm probably gonna head to bed tomorrow is a rest day for me and I'm so looking forward to it because I feel rubbish my back's really hurting I feel like rough so I'm looking forward to sleeping in having a lazy one Josh is working from home we've got a meeting tomorrow night so yeah thank you so much for watching this video um, I'm not sure how long it's going to be I hope that it's going to be a decent length but we'll see I um, hope you enjoyed seeing what I got up to and the recipe for the lasagna which is such a good recipe I actually made it up myself and it's all from my brain um but it's a really good one i absolutely love it so i hope that you make it if you do please tag me on instagram at, at mrs lauren oliver i will put like a little thing here and i am going to eat my cookie and go to bed so bye